Mary's Missionary Church. As a place of happiness, a place of grace, a place of worship, a place of salvation. Ask your neighbor, what are you facing? The problem we have is when we face challenges, we think God is not there. Not long I found that any delay is a blessing in disguise. Any delay. It's a blessing what? Tasa, my friend, your delay was very, very good. The, the process of receiving, the process of what? Of receiving is a delay and challenges. It's a process of receiving. Delay and challenges. Delay and challenges, challenges in life, spiritually, physically, mentally, materially, whatever you think or whatever you can name it. If God wants to bless you, you must face something. And whatever you're facing, don't rule it out like God is not hearing you because he might be preparing you for the best. He might be doing that, preparing you for the best. As I was say, my friend, are you waiting for the best? When God allows you to face some challenges, when he allow challenges, he do allow challenges so that you find yourself who you are in him. He allows those challenges. The reason is he wants you not to be destroyed by the blessing. Do you know that blessings can destroy you? Eh? He gives you millions. You find that those millions are controlling you. There are some people who are controlled by their blessings today. You look at them, they don't even know where is church. They go to a church that suits their money. If now they have money, they just say, oh, this church suits my money. This one does not suit me. So those challenges are there to make you to see beyond money to make you to see beyond what you are having. Many of you here, if you are not having challenges, you could not come here. Now, God is able to make you to sit down and to listen to his will. Not only that, in fact, sometimes he allows this thing to happen to you so that he builds a relationship with you. You know, relationship is there. So that God will be able to talk on your behalf. So that you must not talk for yourself. God will be able to say, I have a servant. I have my child. It's useless to come to God when you want a blessing. It's really useless. Allow this challenge to shape in you. To cut friends and neighbors. And some relatives must run away from you. Very, very good. When they go. So that when the blessing comes, it will be difficult for them to come back to you. Thank God they are leaving you. Thank God they are leaving. Tell anybody, thank God they are leaving you. Otherwise, they can kill you. If you can be blessed so quick. So, a delay and any challenge was very good for us. Very, very good. Sometimes I ask myself, if God would have blessed me so fast, what is it that I was supposed to be doing? One thing, I'll be a baby Christian. I'll be a Christian of blessing. I won't be a Christian of his love. Because God look unto our love walk. Not our blessing. Our blessings are nothing. Just my friend. Your challenge and that delay was working for the best. All of them were working for the best. Tell your neighbor again, your challenges and your delays 
we are working for the best. You know, if you don't know that, sometimes if God can show you why he didn't bless you, oh Lord, you just kneel down and say thank you. Now you can't thank you because you, 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 are, you, are, you have got a challenge. And challenge and not long I realized that any challenge you face makes you better. Because it just expands the horizon of your perspectives. Sometimes you grow. You become mature. You begin to know, ah, my brother can still fight me. You know, I was learning there by Jesus one day. When he saw Judas coming, he knew what Judas was coming from. But he said, Here comes my friend. How can you say something like Here that? Here comes my friend. So many of you, you know, this person insulted you. You can't say he's a friend. Because whoever brings pain was working for the best. For you. Jesus said, here comes my friend. Without Judas, I can't rise from the dead. Whatever you are facing, any challenge, any challenge you can is to make you to rise to a level that no one around you is aware you can reach there. So, you have been complaining, wasting time. Because you don't want to go up. So, thank God today you stop complaining. You can't sleep without complaining. Hey, why me? Why, why my problem? Why? Ah. You want this problem to go to who? Okay, the problem that is coming to okay. you is very good. You, will, you were supposed to be enjoying it. If you know the Anka blessing that will come after the problem. But if God say, okay, we don't want you to enjoy to face this now. Even this, you won't get it. If God can show you beyond the problem and the challenge you are facing, you'll go home and rest. You'll just go and enjoy. If you can see what I face and what is happening now is not comparable. It fulfills the scripture in Romans 8 that says the suffering of the present it won't be compared with the glory that shall reveal in you. So the suffering you have been facing is for the best. So what you are facing is for the best. I've experienced my experience. You are experiencing your experience. So I'm not just speaking on the other side. I'm speaking facing it. Because I know what God can do. God is raising you. I said God is raising you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. So, can you see how God works? Complaining, you can sleep. This, that, stress, depression. Thinking, try to plan this fame. Some of the things you can't even figure out the answer. no solution. You look at your money. You there is no answer. answer. Jesus is the answer. If you hold him at the end, you are the one who will love last. Can I prophesy? As long as you are here today, God is taking you where no one can take you. You will celebrate your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Can you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. You know, one day I met a lady. She was very beautiful lady. By the time of ours, when you start to say sorry, 
She will say, you are not my type. And you look at yourself in the mirror, you realize, ah. And you go and say, but God, why? Why? So one day I met this lady. I said, Why now this lady married by that one? Why Because even the one that he married, I <laughs> myself I'm better. I'm, not... I, I'm trying to tell you what happens. And I got a revelation. The revelation was God made her to have two children first. With the people who were supposed to disappoint her. The people she trusted is their, is their type. Gave her two children and ran away. And God revealed to me that you see this is good for her. Now from there, she was able to allow even that one who's not even my type. Because you know there are some people that God will lower them for the best. And God says to me, this lady could not even marry unless the people of her type type were supposed not to be disappointing. Thank God they disappointed. So that you'll be able to move forward. Tell me my friend. Somebody you never thought. Your type. God will use that person to live to. So today is your day. Thank God for that challenge. Thank God for that pace. You have encountered in life. Thank God for that pain. Was for the best today. Today, God is raising. Congratulations. Amen. If our challenges. Had the challenge Jarena. We found solutions for them very quick. We won't go far with our blessing. If we will run smooth, roads, we won't go far. We won't even go far. Can I prophesy you? Today, any challenge you might face was working for the best today. You are receiving the best. I said you are receiving the best. I said you are receiving the best. Thank God for that pain. Thank God for that shame. Thank God for that difficulty. Today, the door is open for you. Congratulations. So God said, I must speak this because the moment I entered here, I saw, I saw many of you, your spirit is very, very, very dark. And I was asking God, God, why? Many people here, 97 percent. 97 percent of the people here. Challenges that they cannot even solve. But God says, Whatever you might have faced, He is working out an answer. He's working out an answer. I can even show you some people that I saw them crying. Asking God why. Why my situation is not changing. And God showed me, I say, from now on, the door is open. For you. I saw you my visitor, but I saw you. I saw you worry so much that eh, Amen. I saw you Are you coming for the first time? As a visitor, yes. I saw you worry, asking God why, why my situation is not changed. 
It's true. And I saw the family go away from you. It's true, man of God. Yeah? It's very true. Everybody has rejected you. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Yes, it's my wife. And it's true what you're saying. It's it's true. True. Got, uh, family is rejecting us and things are not working according to us. Can I tell you? Don't cry for the family. For the family. Let them go. Amen. God wants to bless you. They will Thank you, Jesus. You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing the family will search for you. Crying. Others, others will come and ask forgiveness. Because God told me that they never approved your marriage. Is it not true? Baba? It is true. Eh? It's true, men of God. They never approved this. Even. Even today, they are still not approving it. Amen. That is why they are going away from that you. That is why they are going away from you. They know you are in stagnancy. Yes. Things are tough. Yes. tough. The moment they look at you, they Can think you beg them. Yes. Yes. So don't worry, God is raising you. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank, you, Lord. Thank, you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will see this lady. This yes. Can you stand up? Yes. This one also having the same kind of a problem. Things, things are so tough. You are very much struggling, my sister. Yes. Huh? Yes, I am, man of God. Huh? Do you know that? Uh, are you coming here for the first time? Don't cry. <laughs> God loves you. Don't cry. I mean, you, you have been facing what you are facing. God knows. You know her. Huh? Yes, yes, I know her. You understand that? You know her? Yes, yes, I know her. You know what she's going through? Yes. Huh? Yes. So, can you see the message I was giving you? It's a prophetic <laughs> message. Huh? Amen. So, this lady, I saw, it's, it's like the same thing. But no one is supporting him. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, it's it's human human. God. Uh, sometimes she just look at food. And the appetite was finished. This, this lady is not eating. That's what God is telling me. Because of the problem, problems. Problem. Problem. Thank God you are in the church. If you could not face this, you could not come here. God is cutting pride. Is cutting your beauty. <laughs> so that the people he will make a wonderful beauty. And God is blessing you. Oh, thank you Jesus. <laughs> so you thought I'm just talking. I'm telling you what God is bringing. He's changing our lives now. Changing our lives now. God is changing your life. God is changing your life. How many of you know God is changing your life? Today it's happening. Right now. I saw a serious disappointment which, which makes me to be bothered. I, say, I, was, I was just questioning why you face all this. And God told me that he's going to fight for you. You hear me? God wants to fight for you. People. God wants to fight for you people. Yeah. It is your time now to see what God can do for you. Thank you heard what I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh? Yes, it is the time now that you'll be able to hold money like others. Thank you, Pastor. Because Thank you, Pastor. Whatever you plan, you plan out of nothing. But I see God providing. But I see God providing. So people will look at you and but admire you. But tell them it's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Pastor.
You are receiving money as I'm standing here. Yeah. You are receiving money as I'm standing Amen. As I'm standing here, take yeah. it. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You are blessed. You are blessed. I saw that lady. Stand up. This one wearing red. I saw three disappointments. Yes, man. I saw three disappointments. Somebody say, okay, I'll marry you. Uh? Yes, I've been staying with the father of my kids. I can't hear you. I have two kids with my... Uh, we have been staying for 12 years. Oh, yeah. 12 years. That one is one of the worst disappointments ever. When you say you want to marry me, you just say, eh? I don't have money. I don't have money. Marry me. Look at time is going. Eh? And, and now you are looking at yourself. You say, what what will will yes. Huh? yes, even this year, I told myself, if it's not working, this time I'm going back home. I'm taking my kids. You want to take your kids? Eh? Yes. You can hear. Yes. Yes. Take your kids. Yes. It's one of the worst disappointments I'm talking about. Where are you working? I'm working in a hotel, but still I'm not happy. It's the second disappointment. Third disappointment is your family. <laughs> Even when you want to take your kids back, <laughs> they, you know that no one is accommodating you. Yes. Huh? yes, even my young sister, she turned against me. No one understand you. Yes. Sometimes you think about killing yourself. Huh? Yes. So don't the kill only yourself. reason I live is for no, my no, kids. So you see this message of today belongs to you. The family. Yes. The job. Mereko. And the person you thought would marry you. These are three disappointments. And does it mean that you... You need to have a white complexion or a yellow bone. So that things will go away. The issue is Tabashi. the pigmentation that God gave you. It's working just to be identification. So that you. You. But more so, Satan can Mara work against you to confuse you. So that people will say, even if or you have or this or color, it's just the same. same. So, I don't want you to take your children and go home. Don't leave your job. Stay there. Allow this brother to marry you. He will marry you in Jesus. Name. Where is he? Okay. He's at work. But anyway, he's doing construction. But every time, the time we even think of marriage or whatsoever, things just go upside down. Disappointments and disappointments. Even at work, they, they promoted me, but since they promised to give me a raise, nothing happens. But I promised to give no, you are telling me what he told you. Oh, huh? Yes. You are telling me what he told you. Told you. Yes. If I tell you what God is telling you, you will just believe that God is blessing you. Mm. Because otherwise, if I tell you, you'll be discouraged. I'm not discouraged about what he told me. But, but I won't tell you what God is telling you. Yes. But what I will say is God is honoring you. Thank you Jesus. Jesus. I believe. Can you see somebody who just say, eh, no, I don't have money. I can actually and, letter. And they say this. And, and you don't know that money is coming, but it also goes on the other side. So you will never know a person until you ask the owner of the person, the one who created the person. So these are the disappointments challenges, the challenge. pains. Butuko. You can hear my sister, she has got pain. Yes. And when she's sitting like that, you can't even think. Yes. 
Some people they've got pain. They're thinking but like a self. Say, say, Why am I living for? Let me die. But when she look at the children, if I die, just look at that lady there. Look at the lady there. Look at the lady. Even yourself, you are not like this lady. Even if you try to use a diprosol or seven days, you can't reach the color of the lady. Is it not true? So now, a challenge is very good for her because of the color she's having. Even you, you have got a different color, but you have got Le your own challenge. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so, you need to say, thank you, so thank you, Lord, for this challenge. And I'm trusting God for the best. And the best are coming. So, I believe you are waiting for the best. Congratulations. In fact, I was coming to share the word of God uh, to you. Let's open the Bible. We share. And uh, I saw my brother, I saw the, the pastor there. This pastor. Yes. God loves you, my pastor. There's a challenge that is coming. The challenge that I can tell you that is coming is about the person you marry. There's a, yes. There's a lady you marry not long. Two weeks, huh? Two weeks back. Two weeks ago. Always I was praying for you, God Mary, Mary. You never come and tell me what to marry. You are Mary. Did you tell me you are Mary? No, you didn't, I didn't tell you. I tell you. So, I'm seeing you wearing something like a, where the day you marry. Something like a tradition. Yes, a vendor tradition. Huh? A vendor tradition. Yeah. I'm still standing here. But I'm, I'm seeing this lady with white in complexion. The one we are showing. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's like that one. Yes. Where is she? Okay. Uh, she was at work. Brother, you're going to face many challenges. The, the way I'm looking, you need to bring her here. I want to speak with you. Why you didn't tell me you are going to marry? Uh, it's difficult to get a hold of you, uh, Apostle. I'm seeing you standing somewhere. Like, you even took a picture, you like put it it away. Because I'm seeing a picture on Facebook now. Yeah. 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 You are standing like this. Yeah. And the lady is standing there. Yeah. 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 Yes. Who's this guy who's standing here? Uh, this was my brother as well. He was standing on, sorry, on my left hand side. Yeah. My, brother, yes. my brother, you need to pray. Yeah? Because I saw a very big challenge. Many of us, when we marry, we marry beauty. Without character. So you need to pray because. They, there's going to rise problems. Because I see you say you want these two children coming here. The problem will start from children. children. You are going to disagree a lot. It's going to affect your ministry. Do you hear me? Yes. Eh? yes. So I want to speak with her so that she understands the issue of children. Did you tell her that you have got children? Yes, I told her. Eh? I told her. And, and she said what? Well, she, was, she didn't have a problem with them. Problem is coming. That problem is coming. So God loves you. I'll, uh, I'll wait for you to come with, her, okay. with the lady. I can't see a lady uh, walking, entering here. <laughs> I've just seen a lady like this one. Yes, I brought her to, to you previously. 
and you said I can marry her. Is it the one you brought to me? Yes. I don't remember. I'm praying with people. But I'm just seeing a lady with eyes like this. Yes. But you are wearing tradition. It's no, it's like you are not wearing white uh, when you wear it. It's only tradition that I'm seeing. Tradition. There's no lishira. Uh, no, not yet. Eh? Not yet. Okay, not don't yet. worry. I saw a challenge. We need to solve this challenge before. You must come with the lady. I sit down with her. Try you to guide you her. You know, the wife must be submissive to her husband. Yes. And if the wife is not submissive to her husband, there will be wrong people interfere. So, okay, I will meet you with your wife. Thank you, Apostle. God bless you. Yes, you can come. Yes, let's open the scriptures. Let's open the scriptures. God bless you. Yes, let's open the scriptures. Let's open the scriptures. Let's open the scriptures. This problem is solved. Problem. That one is solved. I'm happy. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we read Luke 13? Are you looking at Luke 13? From verse 1. I want us to learn something. Can you read to this thing? Just at that time, verse 1, the, some people who informed Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate has mixed with the, their sacrifices. And he replied by saying to them, Do you think that these Galileans were great sinners than all other Galileans? Because they have suffered in this way, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish and be lost eternally. Yeah. Or those 18 on whom the tower in Shilom fell and killed them, do you think that they were more guilty offenders than all others who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish and be lost eternally. Amen. And he told them this parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but he did not find any. So he said to the vine dresser, see here, for these three years, I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and I found none. Cut it down. Why should it continue also to use up the ground? The ground intercept the sun and take up room. But he replied to him, leave it alone, say, this one more year till I dig around it and put my new. Then perhaps it will bear fruit after this, but if not, you'll cut it down and out. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to learn something that will help us today. I found this revelation of the word that Jesus, by then, by his time, people will come with problems. And there are challenges. Others, they had questions that bothered themselves. So now here you can <inaudible> see others were coming to say, Jesus, what happened that day? And Jesus began to say, uh, those Galileans were not sinners better than you. Or they were not worse. Even if even you, if you don't repent, you will perish at the We speaking about, you know, the issue of continuing. I was learning the principle of continuing. I found that unless we continue on what we have studied, we will perish. 
And the Bible says eternally. Jesus shows the reason of existence by parable. He says it's based on continuing. When you are continuing to bear fruit. So just write continue. Because continue is a way that God has established for Christians to find themselves doing. That's why Jesus says, Blessed is the one that you will be found doing. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So they came complaining and and said, why their life perished that way. way. Jesus shows that yes, it's not that they were worse sinners. They were exactly like you. The problem is they've been given opportunity to continue on what they've been given but they could not. And when their fate comes to, to perish, they find themselves perish eternally. They to hell. If you can read that, you realize that Jesus was not minding how you die. He was not minding about how you die. But he was minding about what will happen if you don't continue in him. Automatically it means you will perish eternally. That's why he said that's why he said if you don't repent even you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was minding about if you don't change your life even you. It doesn't go that you are, you are better or you are worse or you are good. automatically one day you will die but what is important is you must learn to continue in him so he said if you repent so you won't die like them because you won't perish eternally. I don't know if you are hearing that. That's what Jesus was saying. That is why Jesus so he gave a parable. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can read that parable, it was of the tree that always when the owner was coming to search fruits, he found that the tree was just occupying the place. But there were no fruits. Therefore, the process of producing, continuing producing, was not existing. To the extent that the matter was given, that is better it was cut down. But it was given an opportunity to live for a year. If not, it will be cut down. For you to continue as you are living like now is on the base of bearing fruits. It's on the base of continuing to, base, to, to bear fruits. Not long I was learning that it means God is giving us opportunity that as long as we are alive, we need to show the process of victory. But if we reach a level where we can continue with Christ, it means even our existence is fruitless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I have learned that in the book of Luke 19, when you read about Zacchaeus from 1, you will see that Zacchaeus from the beginning, he heard about Jesus. So when he heard, that's the first thing. He heard and he went out 
He heard about Jesus. He didn't stay. He went out to find who he is. And he also be able, number two, to consider and look at his ability. Because he wanted to see Jesus, he realized he's short. And he made an action of climbing the tree to prove that he was continuing in searching someone that will bring salvation. He didn't hear and sit. He heard about Jesus. He moved out from where he was. He went to where Jesus was. And when you look at himself, that was the second thing. He realized that, oh, I've got this weak point. I'm short. I need to climb the tree. When he was climbing the tree, Jesus saw his effort. Because you can't continue unless you make an effort. Your effort is needed in your continuing. He climbed the tree. When he saw the tree, Jesus saw what he did. Why did Jesus call him? Because he saw that this man realized his weak points. We need to know our weak points. Where we are weak. And we make some efforts about our weaknesses. Zacchaeus climbed the tree. Jesus said, hey, hey, today I'm coming to your house. Jesus never promised Zacchaeus anything. He just said, I'm coming to die in your house. And Zacchaeus was happy. He said, let's go. Zacchaeus went forward. He continued. When Jesus was sitting, Had when Jesus people were eating, he began to say all the things I took in a wrong way. I will send it back. Jesus spoke. Salvation has come to us. So you can see that there, there have to be a continuity. If you are a Christian and you are not continuing in your Christianity, you won't reach any you must reach a place where Jesus must speak. Can I tell you this? I want to tell you that the plan of Satan is not to stop you dancing but it's to stop your fellowship with Jesus. But now, when you are continuing with him, you bother him because you will reach where Jesus will talk. I don't know if you are hearing me. The reason why we can't hear him is because somewhere, somehow, when we continue, we stop somewhere. And we find that we can't hear him, we are lost. But now, if we continue with him, we will reach where he will say, you see now, what you have now is what I died for. This salvation is juni and you have it. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. We need Christians that will continue whether there is no way of moving forward but they continue. Whether there is a blockage but they continue. Hallelujah. Tell my friend, what is it that is stopping you? So here Zacchaeus continued. On the third level, Jesus spoke. Somewhere Jesus is not speaking. You are interested to see him. He said, let's go to the house. When you're in the house, there are things you have stored there which are not needed. But you still hide your quiet. And this will make Jesus to be quiet. But when Zacchaeus exposed what was inside the house, he said, there is money. I took it here. Can you see this safe? We have a safe here. It's full of things. It's when Jesus was inside the house. 
Like this was able to expose what is known by people. Some people were admiring Not Zacchaeus. Not knowing that Zacchaeus was rich. Because he was stealing from people. But the Bible shows that Zacchaeus was able to open the heart. And he said, can you see this? I took it in a wrong way. And Jesus was able to talk. As I was saying, my friend, when was the last time you heard Jesus speaking with you. And he said what? The problem is you are not continuing in your Christianity. Let me give you an example. When Jesus rose from the dead, when there were two disciples who were going to Emmaus, when Jesus approached them and asked them questions, they will not even understand that was Jesus. Because they were still covered with grief and stripes. They challenged their faith, closed their ears, blinded their eyes, that when Jesus was speaking with them, they could not even identify that was Jesus. But listen, though it was like that, Jesus continued with them. Listen to this. That does not mean that when you are not continuing with Jesus, you are not continuing with him. You are given chance like the tree to understand that is Jesus speaking so that you bear fruit of showing that you are with Jesus. So they were given chance to hear Jesus and Jesus began to open their understanding with scriptures but Though they were hearing, the Bible says it was only their hearts that was burning. But they never thought it was Jesus. It's when Jesus said, I, I was with them. Let me leave them. They say, please, continue to be with us. The revelation came when they felt when Jesus was living. And they say, no, 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 no. What we are feeling can die down if we don't continue with this thing. We need to reach a level where we know that our continuation with Jesus, there is something we feel when we are continuing with him. That if he can go away from us, we can lose something. We need to sense something in our lives. Last time I was sensing something and I was telling people that always when I pray, when I'm busy praying, there is a knock that I know I know I know that hey God want me to continue hallelujah the moment I hear that knock because I will feel like tired and I want to sleep I will hear the same kind of a knock the moment I hear that knock I continue you need to know somewhere where Satan is oppressing you where he doesn't want you to continue so that you continue to a level where the rain will fall listen to this the reason why you are limited somewhere somehow you are blocked you cannot continue and you can't hear him talking today whether you are blocked or not you will be able to continue Say, I will continue. I will continue to worship him. I will continue to praise him. I will continue to pray. And something will happen. You know all the prophets you know. All the servants of God you know. They have got a sign. When they are busy praying, pray, pray, pray. They reach a level where they know. Now they are not alone. And the one who wants them to continue will will present his presence so that they feel that they are not alone. 
And the moment they feel the present, they know this present is not just to bring excitement. It's to give them strength to carry on. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's always my friend. From today, any limitation in my life will fail. I will continue. Any challenges I'm facing in my life will fall down because of the glory of God. And I will continue. Whatever I will be facing, I don't mind. I will carry on and I will continue. We need Christians who are saying, I'm still shame, but I'm continuing. I'm still difficult, but I'm continuing. I'm still poverty, but I'm continuing. Because listen, where you are blocked, that's where Satan knows if you pass there, there is breakthrough. Can I tell you this? Whatever you are blocked is what you will touch with your hand from today. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I will continue. You know, those are the things that Distance, they don't know. Where Satan will preach to you. And will say, pray. You pray, walking around. Satan says, sit down. You see it, you begin to say, Father, Papa, where are you? Satan says, no. You can pray better if you put your legs. You begin to say, Father, Papa, I see some dogs. I want to say thank hey, you, Lord. Satan say, no, you can sleep now. Nicely. You pray nicely, you sleep. It means your prayer was reaching somewhere. But Satan knows that if you continue the way you will continue, all the power of Satan will match. I want Christians today that won't be able to be stopped by anything in whatever they are doing. Some of you, when you are doing fasting, the moment you hear a good smell, you stop. I want to continue. Whether there is a smell which is good, you continue. Whether you feel exhausted, you don't drink water, you continue. That's how I will continue. Let me show you the scripture. Maybe, maybe it will help us. In 2 Thessalonians 3, 3 verse 4 to 5. Chapter 3, 4 to 5. Here the Bible says, We have confidence in the Lord concerning you. Amen. That you will continue on what we preach. Amen. In what Holy Spirit suggests. In other words, a pastor is there to preach what the Holy Spirit suggests. Here, yeah, Paul was speaking. He said, We have confidence in you that you will continue on what we have preached. In other words, continuing will be showing that our preaching will not in vain. Why Paul can say something Why like that? It means somewhere, somehow Christians can be challenged to stop. You know, you need to have your pastor to challenge you. Tell anybody, you need to have your pastor. Whatever he preaches, you hold it, you continue in it. You heard what I said? That's how you wave, you fight your spiritual warfare. You must have your pastor who gives you a way and you carry on on when what you taught you. Because any temptation will be coming to what you have heard. 
so that you carry on and overcome temptation by what you have. We need Christians who are saying, I've heard this preaching and I'm facing this and my pastor told this. I'm carrying on on what I've heard. I don't know if you're hearing me. I think this can tell you that pastors are very important for you. Because here, they preach what Holy Spirit suggests. Suggest. I suggest delay. Can you, you know when you talk about suggestion, it means there is too much things, but there is something that will be taken and belongs to you. It's as good as you go to the supermarket. You can't cook everything of supermarket. So there are some things that will be taken there and taken and be cooked and you go and eat. So pasta is like that. Holy Spirit suggests for them. They take some things and they cook for you. Because those things are there to make you to continue with them. To bring a solution. If you read 2 Thessalonians, if you go there, chapter 2, verse 13, you see that the Holy Spirit is saying to you, verse do not be wary in doing good. If you can check there, the Bible says, do not be wary in doing good. It, it means continue in doing good. good. But it says, do not associate with anyone who can make you wary. Who can stop? Tell my friend. The reason why you have stopped, you didn't check your friend. Do not associate with anyone who refuses. Who does? Who, he, he, you don't make him an enemy. But he refused to obey. He refused to obey what? has been taught. Do not associate with that person. You know, if you want to prosper in life, do what I did. I don't want to have a friend who doesn't believe in what I believe. That kind of friend is not my friend. One time there was another pastor a long time ago. He came to our church here. He knew me because I prayed for him. I prayed for his family. No one was working. He asked me to go to his house. From there, he told people I'm his friend. Because he was prospering. So I was not prospering. I'm just having anointing. But the anointing makes his family to prosper. So when he came to church, he said, Pastor is my friend. I said, No, you are not my friend. Because my fear is if you associate with anyone who does want to continue in the word of God, in the law, that particular person can affect your faith. God will bless you by continuing. I don't know if you are hearing me. You hold and you carry on. When Jesus spoke about it, he said, if you put a plow and you look bad, you are not fit for my kingdom. We need Christians who can continue and they are not stopping because you cannot move forward with the plow when you are looking back it means you stop somewhere we need Christians who can continue there are noise behind but you continue there are talkings behind but you continue check your friends check your neighbors check whoever tell yourself I will continue even if they are making noise this is a principle that God has been using from the beginning of the world. When God saved Lot, he said, continue. Don't look back, continue. And the wife looked back. Lot, continue. If you look 
bed, you will fail and you will never reach your destiny. We need Christians who are saying, I'm continuing. I carry on. I'm not looking whether this one is my wife, whether this one is my husband, I carry on. Because one day you will die alone. You won't die with anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all my friend. I want to continue. In John 12, John 12 verse 26, verse 26, Jesus says, If anyone saves me, he must continue to follow me. And my father will honor him. If you read 26 there, John 12, if you love me, you must continue. You must what? Continue. continue. If you want to serve me, continue. continue. And my father will honor you. Listen, there is honor from the father when you are carrying on doing what God wants you to do. The devil wants to stop you. Don't, don't allow. Don't stop. Don't stop. Tell him, but don't stop. Carry on. Don't stop. You can lose your money. Don't stop. You can lose friends. Don't stop. You can lose a job. Don't stop. You can lose whoever. Don't stop. God wants to honor you. There is an honor from your father God when you continue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you read 1 Corinthians 1558, 1558, the Bible says your labor is not in vain the Lord. When you are carrying on laboring in the Lord, you are not losing. You are going somewhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I say, my friend, hey, what is person. it that is stopping you in serving God? Continue. Carry on. When it's tough, carry on. It is not easy. Eh? It is not easy. I want to tell you. I heard a voice that I must tell you. Continue. Continue. Because I saw a bigger house. Listen to this sometimes. We will never know where we are going. We need some people to encourage us. We need some people to encourage us. I'm here to do more than encouragement. Oh, there are I'm here to do more to do more than encouragement. Just continue. 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 There are some people here you are tired about your situation. I'm hearing this. Continue. Because in front of you there is a blessing that is coming upon your life. In front of you the car you have been crying for, the house you have been praying for, whatever you have been searching, continue and carry it. It's in front of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me show you maybe the last verse. Hallelujah. Amen. If you read John, John 15, 15, we'll read from verse 7 to 9. Verse 7 of it, verse 9. 15 from verse. I'll read through, amplify the Bible. Verse 7 to 9. It says, If verse you live in me, and my words remain in you and continue to live in your hearts. Ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you. Amen. 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 If you look at that verse, it says, let me read it again. Listen it very clearly. It didn't just say, you will ask anything, it will happen. It says, if you live in me, and my ways remain in you, and continue to live in your hearts, those words, 
they continue to live in your heart. Ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you. When you bear much fruit, my father is honored and glorified. Amen. And you show and prove yourself to be true followers of mine. Look at verse 9. Verse I nine. have loved you. Amen. Just as the Father has loved me. Abide in my love. Continue in, in, in his love with me. Abide, it means continue. Continue. Look at this verse uh, eight. It says, when you bear fruit, when you bear fruit, your father is honored. Can you see this? Uh, that now, when you don't have something, it doesn't glorify your father. Hallelujah. Amen. So you must continue. 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 But, but look at this verse we read verse 7. It says, only when the words are continuing in your heart. That's when, when you ask anything, it shall be done. There's this verse that uh, in Joshua 1 verse 8. There, Joshua 1 verse 8. Do not allow my, my words to depart from your mouth day and night. In other words, continue with them, speaking them, and it says now you will be successful. So you can see that the issue here is to continue to study the word of God and make it to be part of you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. How many of you want to continue today? To continue with him. I want to tell you. Something will happen when you ask. Whatever you ask, it shall be done. And your father will be having honor. You can see that people will glorify your father. If you carry on bearing fruits. Okay, let me try to speak it nicely. Eric you understand. All right, you are sick. And you're not getting healed. And I'll Who's glorified? It's Satan. Diavolo Satan. You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, you are searching for a okay. job. You can't get it. Who's glorified? So here it says that it's only when you continue. Can I tell you what happened? In your continue with Jesus, Jesus will do this. Number, number one, he will preserve you. That's the first thing he will do. When he preserve you, number two, he will give you peace. Peace of not having anything, but seeing it coming. You know, the Bible talks about peace that surpasses all understanding. It means even when we look at you, we don't understand why you are happy. You find that you don't have money, but you are happy. You don't, you don't have a house, but you are happy. So, you will be preserved. So, by preservation, means God will set a time for the things to happen and he allow you to carry on without any sign. You carry on. Or you move forward. Or you continue. He will allow you not to sin. You will be able to continue him. But two, I'm saying, he will make sure that there will be peace in your heart. You won't lose it. You will just worship him. You are happy. You are happy. You're excited because there is something that is coming. It's as good as I say, I'll buy you a suit a month end. Automatically, you will see a suit. Even yourself, you will start to have spiritual eyes to see what is coming. This will excite you because you know what is coming is sure. You know your destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three, what is going to do for you? He will allow you to face the worst things ever. 
People must leave you. But you must dwell. People will leave you. But you must dwell. Because wrong people will leave you. Even those who are helping you will try to help you. They will run away from you. Will be left alone. Because he wants you alone. When God was wanted to bless Abraham, He called him friend. He called Abraham continue with God. But when he said, "Okay, get out from this people," go there. What happened was he took. The son of his brother. But God proved to him that he wanted him alone. The strife began to come. And they separate. And he went alone. And God blessed him alone. I want to tell you that from today, the blessing you have been searching for is coming to you in the name of Jesus. I say it's coming to you in the name of Jesus. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? There are three things that God will allow. The last one is a blessing coming on top of another. You are in that state today. Today you will receive something. Another one will come. Another one will come. Another one. Listen, the blessing that will come, you find that in your family, you are the one, only one, who's having it. And your father will be honored. Are you ready for your father to be honored? Are you ready for your father to be honored? Are you ready for your father to be honored? Congratulations in advance. God bless you. Keep watching Charis.